Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. Now, in the past, I have always been quite critical with Forza Horizon 4, and I don't voice any of my opinions of hate as the team over at Playground Games are truly lovely people. However, I do play their games like any of you watching the videos as a consumer, as at the end of the day, that's who I am. Despite making YouTube content on the game, I am still a consumer of their product. Now today, I'm going to look in the opposite direction and highlight some of the amazing features that are currently in Forza Horizon 4, including the ones that we may overlook as we look at seven features that make Forza Horizon 4 great. Number one, graphics. I know it's not necessarily a new feature per se as anything on a screen that is computer generated it is essentially called graphics. But I must say that Forza Horizon 4 is absolutely stunning. I know for myself, I took the graphics of this game for granted as I was looking for other elements in Forza Horizon 4 to either criticize or commend. But when I pull myself out of that mindset, I can genuinely take in and appreciate just the visuals that this game presents. And if you're lucky enough to play this game on 4K, my goodness, it's truly mesmerizing from the detail of the LED headlights to the frost forming on the winter's day on the bonnet of your car. They've dedicated a lot of their time to really make this game do the Xbox One X justice. Or if you're on the PC, then lucky for you, <laughs> you'll probably get all the graphic benefits if you have a high-end PC. And to really further appreciate the graphics more, just jump on any older Forza Horizon game. I went on Forza Horizon 3 and I realized just how cartoony that game really was compared to its successor. Number two, the festival playlist. Now recently I made a review on the festival playlist based on the good, the bad and the ugly. Of course, this system has many flaws as to the content that they pack in. I believe they can do so much more with it, making it more interactive, perhaps infusing the route creator. but. Again, I'm not here to rant about any of the game. Instead, I want to say that deep down inside my heart, I like the festival playlist. It's a great concept and it actually has gotten me to do many of the challenges that I never used to do because the menu system is so much more easier to follow. It's not even remotely confusing as people say and since it's right in front of you every time you jump on the game, it's more of an incentive to try and unlock the cars every week because it's so easy to use. By all means, I'm not saying it's perfect. However, it is a great feature to have, but at the same time, it certainly needs a lot of refinement. Number three, the seasons. Uh, I, I know this is going to be a mixed bag for people. It's a divided community as to how we feel about the seasons. But just hear me out, for me, I love it because it gives the game character and being a driving game, elements such as handling on tarmac and off-road are all going to be different whether it's dry, wet or snowing. Of course, there is the argument of dynamic weather change, whereas people are saying, oh, why, why can't they just make it so that all the weather changes happen without being seasonal? Well, the way I see it is having dynamic weather change too much can be an issue if you want to cover all four seasons. If you are not someone that plays the game every day and jump on occasionally, you may never get to experience perhaps rain or snow unless these weather conditions go on for days upon days, which is what it really is right now. At least with the weeks, we know what we can expect. I mean, all seasons still relatively have the same elements like sun and rain, and that way they can still show off all the seasons available. If there was one thing to improve upon, maybe during the winter season when there is snow everywhere, some stunts should have an exclusive leaderboard for snow because honestly, there's no way beating a world record when the guys doing it are mowing through grass and here you are just plowing through the snow. <laughs> Number four, the physics. For an open world racer, hands down, Forza Horizon 4 has the best physics. Yes, I know driving a Lamborghini Aventador through the forest is probably gonna hurt your car, but that is where the line is drawn. It's a mixture of part simulation and arcade, giving a perfect blend to enjoy Forza Horizon 4 through all aspects, whether you want to be the fastest around the circuit or drive through a pit in your hypercar just to capture your opponent's flag, 
Regardless, if you guys can find me another open world racer that has the handling physics of Forza or better, I can guarantee you that you won't be able to find one. Number five, the route creator. This feature was so hyped before it was released, but it has now somewhat just disappeared. I just feel that right now the search engine is just too difficult to navigate and what they need to do is similar to the festival playlist. Promote the route creator or bring this feature forward and the chance of us wanting to play it would drastically increase. But again, I'm not here to try and improve the game, but to just say that having the freedom to make a track however you want is just a great feature that really gives us, the consumer, the creativity that we deserve because unless the developers are constantly coming up with new tracks, which they aren't, sourcing them out from their consumers is honestly such a genius way of the developers to get new content. It's just right now there is no incentive for me to play any of the route creators and hopefully Playground Games will realize that and integrate or infuse the route creator tracks with something else. Number 6, Forzathon Live. Another feature I really enjoy is the Forzathon Live events, especially when you have a lot of drivers and many of them are actually trying to complete the objective. Even though you can't actually hit any of the players, there's nothing cooler than seeing X amount of cars at once all going back and forward doing the same thing as you with the freedom of choosing and modifying any car of our choices. Again, there are some flaws to this. First, as I believe that the target score should be relative to the amount of players that actually attend and attempt the Forzathon Live challenges. Also, they should pop up more often and these challenges need to be changed up right now. They have been gotten quite repetitive and we just have to do them more now since the prices of the cars in the Forzathon shop have inflated. But with that being said, Forzathon Live, the route creator, festival playlist, they can all be integrated into one system. And once Playground Games realizes that they have these three major ingredients that can be blended together to create something more interesting for us players, then I believe that these features will be phenomenal. It would actually change the way we play Forza Horizon 4. Right now, they just have all these separate features, but they kind of don't know what they're doing with it. They are definitely very good, almost great features, innovative features, but they all need to come together as one to really make it the perfect package. And number seven, the cars. Lastly, we come to the cars in the game. Such an extensive choice of vehicles ranging from your everyday drivers to off-road jumping buggies to your favorite supercars. You name it, chances are it's going to be in Forza Horizon 4. There is truly a car for everyone and along with the car customization, although in my opinion is not their strongest point in the game, at least aesthetically anyway, it's still very decent. Couple that with an easy to follow tuning system, you can really customize the car to the way you want it, including the custom liveries or your own paint jobs. Truth be told, at least from my opinion, I feel some cars don't necessarily need to be in the game and could perhaps be replaced with better cars. Subscribers will know what I'm talking about if you have been watching my car list videos recently on Forza Horizon 4. However, it's still one of the best and biggest features that they have accumulating to over 600 vehicles in game, which is incredible. And no other open world racer has even come close to that figure. I just hope in the future, Playground Games will look through all their reports and see what cars don't get used much and really replace it with the forums that they have that allow us, the community, to put down our wish list as well. So a trade for a trade, the cars that we don't use very often in the game will be traded with perhaps the most popular car choice that we want on our wish list. That way we really have a car for everyone. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button. That would really help me out. Also, what other features do you think are great in Forza Horizon 4? Do you agree with what I have said? Have I missed out on anything? Write them down in the comment section below. I do read them. And lastly, if you would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys 
in the next video. Peace.